Okay, welcome back to the Demigod series. In this series, we have all seven races. Seven races, thanks to this mod called Diversity Crate. And each one gets one super strong person with the Demigod trait, which gives them comical amounts of health. We also give them Immortal. So Gobby here, who's my favorite, is 405 years old and has 1,056 kills. Good for him. He's also got 226 children, and he's a great father to all of them. So, last time, we saw two demigods get killed. Jerk from Jerkberg and Dan from Udan. Although we didn't see Jerk get killed. He got killed right here. You can see from this crater here. We saw Dan get killed and it's because he got lit on fire, which is the demigod's weakness. Even though they have stupid amounts of health, if they get lit on fire, it's pretty much a death sentence for them. So we theorize that's what happened to Jerk, even though we didn't see it because he died suspiciously fast. And then, Dan, we did see him get caught on fire and then die from burning. So, Jerkberg is obviously in the lead by a long shot. They're doubling second place. And everyone's honestly pretty weak, except for these big two. The catch is that both of these big two do not have demigods. They're the only two whose demigods have been killed. All these small kingdoms still have their super strong champions in play so you might think oh orcs are definitely going to win this one they don't have a super strong guy to help defend or attack and everyone else does so i wouldn't count them out yet i'm curious to see if that'll be enough to make a difference i'm not so sure but we'll find out we got the humans oh there's fire here is there a demigod in there i don't think so dang that's all it takes right there orcs hanging out on the sidelines here we got bobzilla still out here defending his little corner of land let's check kill counts and health philip is at half health but why, Philip? You're hardly even at war. Oh, his kingdom is like practically gone. <laughs> I guess he was doing a lot of fighting. It's just not anymore. Yeah, that's right. You rebuild. All right. King of Jerkberg is dead. Bugville out here doing some damage. Let's go, dude. Oh, no. Corrupted by him. Leave this part alone. Uh, it's not worth the fight, man. No one wins in this fight. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is turning around on them really quickly. Rip, bad use of an army. We got Philip down here fighting an onslaught of orcs. I don't think he's healed yet, has he? No, he's still at half health. I think he got enough health to get out of this situation, but at the same time, he's already halfway dead. I don't know. We'll check back later, I guess. Yeah, no, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll get out of there unless they throw fire on him, of course. His kingdom, though, is so destroyed. I don't even know why it even still shows up. There's nothing even here oh no they're piling on him philip oh there's fire he's not on fire yet though but they're burning right next to him dang that was close i think he'll be all right where's the fire even coming from it's all spreading that way though he's standing on some mountain which i don't think can get lit on fire so i guess good news for him but they're still working his health down he's lost 2,000 health since we just noticed this brutal okay well maybe we'll lose philip that would be definitely game over for the dwarves because that's the only thing they really have left is him and like a bunch of fishing boats like the orcs pretty much live in their lands now they're like they're also confused like why are the dwarves still here crazy although he's it looks like he's almost done killing them all maybe he'll be all right also i noticed that bug boy's health was pretty low what are you up to bug boy anything anything i should know about doing anything weird bugville's population has grown quite a bit 250 they're just wasting it all over here in the corrupted biome okay, it looks like they killed them so maybe they can move on now there you go get out of there get out of the corrupted biome you deserve better okay is phil philip still in it oh no he's all right he made it out he's back to full again he looks like he got a snack Oh man, this is gonna go on forever, isn't it? Let's go sonic speed. Oh, great Phil. Kingdom is now reduced to this island, but Philip is out here. He's probably so lonely. Oh, buddy, don't cry. 619 kills. Diabolical. Bobzilla and Gobby both have over a thousand. Gobby out here with 1100. Oh! Gobby's dead! Well, that was definitely a fire death because we just checked on him. He was just healthy a second ago. He had full health. Gobby! The orcs killed him, dude. Oh, man. Gobby. I miss him already. No one could ever replace him, you know? No one was quite like him. He even left behind a little patch of grass. Something to remember him by, I guess. Oh, whoa. A brand new kingdom has sprouted? I guess Great Bobbly is gone, and Bobzilla has just created his own kingdom? Alright, maybe he just wanted a color change. Look at those kills. 
Gob Town's down to six population. The humans are out here just mopping up everything they can. Oh yeah, cause Gobby's gone, so they've got nothing left. Gob Town's gonna get eliminated. Oh no, goblins, hang in there. Look how kitted out they are though. They got Adam and Teen. This is the king, I think, yeah? Yeah. Rip dude. Without Gobby, they're hopeless. They've got nothing without Gobby. None of us have anything without Gobby. Donland has declared war on Great Phil. Bugville's population dropped quite a bit, and Donland's actually gone up quite a bit. Jerk Berg has just a stupid amount of population. My confidence in anyone else being able to win is pretty low now. I was really hoping that the demigods would be a little more aggressive, but since they always end up becoming king, they tend to not really attack that much. They tend to just stay within their own borders. Except for Gobby. That was his main thing, is he would just go anywhere. And honestly, Bug Boy over here is kind of the same thing. Looks like he's under attack. He's missing quite a bit of health. Savage pumps. Dang. Can't believe we're missing three demigods now. Oh, we got Dan? Who is this? We got Dan down here fighting who? Oh, this is Philip? Why is he way down here? Oh, this is part of... He set up a little camp down here. That's right, because his home got taken over by Bugville. <laughs> Philip's way down here attacking the humans? What the heck? All right, cool. Yeah, do what you want to do, man. I believe in you. I think you can do anything you set your mind to. Gob Town was destroyed officially. Dang. Rest in peace. We got Donland all the way down here. It's so random. Why are they still in the match? Like, at least Don is defending up here, but, like, why is this here? And why is this here? Bananas, dude. Oh, Great Phil's little island is being taken over by the elves, looks like. Yep, and they're 12 damage with... A legendary weapon. Take your sweet time. Oh no, there's one enemy. Okay, good. I was like, what if that one dwarf kills all of them? Man, look at how much they're struggling to kill him. No way. Is this about to happen? Did one dwarf just kill all like 10 of those elves? Bro. That is embarrassing for the elves. They're so weak now. Yikes, dude. All right, Sonic Speed. Let's go. We need some results here. We still have a lot that needs to happen. Okay, bug boy up here. Oh, just a small little tech. There is fire on the ground though. Careful, dude. Oh no, he's on fire. Oh no, bug boy. He killed all of them, but then he walked into the fire. Bug boy's gone. And here come the humans to, are they at war with them? No, they're not, okay. That could have been them annihilating them if they wanted to. Bro, bug boy's gone. What a needless death too. Just stepped in the fire. Absolute buffoon. Okay, so Bugville's probably not gonna last much longer then. They got no defender now. Although, that's what we thought about Udan and Jerkberg and see how that went. Oh my gosh, look at the orcs down here. Attacking Bobzilla. Oh, he's pretty low health. Will they push all the way over there and attack him? Oh, he's going for them. He's rebuilding. Look at him go. <laughs> okay, orcs are spreading like a virus, bro. Okay, wait. Dawnland's been pushed all the way back. Bugville just lost their top area up here. Okay, let's slow it down. This is getting crazy. Okay, where's our champions at? Wait a minute. Wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, are we missing one? Did one of them die? Wait, who are we missing? Okay, Bobzilla and Don. We lost Bug Boy. Yeah, we lost Gobby. We lost Dan. Philip? Wait, did Philip die? Did we know that? Did I see Philip die? Oh, he must have just died right here. Yo, Philip died. Look at them throwing torches. They figured it out, dude. Dang, Philip died. I don't know when I missed that. Where's the news feed? Okay, did I just miss that or what? Oh, yeah, Philip died. Okay, I missed that. That was not that long ago. That was. Dang, that. I don't know how I missed that. Okay, well, Philip's dead too. Okay, so. The great Phil is gone. The dwarves are officially gone. This kingdom keeps getting eliminated, but Bobzilla is over here just not letting it happen. But, oh man, it's like the whole might of the orc kingdom against just him, and he's already almost half health. I don't know. We'll see about that. It only takes one torch to kill him, too. Okay, and Dawn. Dude, is Dawn gonna be the last one to go? This video really isn't all seven kingdoms against each other. It's just six kingdoms trying to defend against the orcs. I mean, that's like every video with how OP they are. It's kind of annoying, honestly. They're so OP. I need to give the developer a call. Tell him to knock that off. Bobzilla's down quite a bit, but he's actually fended them off. He's actually safe now. Good for him. Dan, Don, how you doing? Oh no, fire. His health isn't dropping. Oh, there it is. He's on fire. Oh no. Wait, it keeps dropping, but then, oh, there it is again. No, Don. Okay, well, at least Don's not gonna be the last one. That'd be kind of silly. Okay, he's still on fire. No, Don, please don't leave us like this. All right, farewell, Don. Oh, he just healed a little bit. He's still on fire, though. Farewell, Don. You were a good guy. Dang, Don. 
He spent the most of his life living peacefully on the farm. He never wanted this. He never wanted a war. But he got one, and he defended until his last moments. And now literally the only one left is Bobzilla, who literally doesn't even have a village. I mean, he does, but not really. He's down here defending against like a billion orcs, and he's doing it. But the problem is, there's really no way he can turn this around enough to win. He's just gonna eventually get slowly taken down or lit on fire. Who's fighting out here? Silly. I don't want to miss the last one, but I don't know. He's attacking their village now. If he doesn't have his own village, he's got nowhere to go other than forward. So, I don't know. Maybe it works out in the end. Oh, man. Look at how many there are. Bro. I don't think they throw torches at people ever, though. I think it's when they throw torches at buildings, and it just sort of, like, if the demigods nearby, they'll eventually, like, accidentally light them on fire. I don't think they actually light them on fire on purpose ever, do they? So, since he's in their territory, they probably won't be throwing torches because that would just light their own buildings on fire so they actually have to kill them manually which they might do it's just gonna take them a while okay how are we doing out here I'm still surprised Bugville is even in this one like how are they still in this one you Dan makes sense because they actually were pretty strong but like bro Bugville why are you still here and why does it say that you have all this territory when you really only have like this which is mostly destroyed you have one of these and then like a few things up here why does it make it look like you have so much territory it's a lie it's all a lie there's nothing even here dude oh man they got them down to below 20,000 yikes bro i turned sonic speed on look at that they're doing it man oh he had some bread maybe someone ate some bread oh someone else ate some bread he's like please can i have a little slice of bread so i can heal 30,000 health real quick all right we'll slow it down for the actual thing oh what he ran away he's running away Bro, he's setting up a new camp. He's still in this one, dude. New kingdom, Great Una was founded. Bro, he's so low health, he knew he wasn't gonna win that. He just disappeared. I think he's starving though. Yeah, he's starving. He only loses one HP for that. So that's not gonna change anything for him, but that is funny. Dang, okay, well, he's still in it. Uh, meanwhile, Bugville and um, you, Dan, get attacked. You dance just stranded to this final, like, last island out here, and Bugville is just, uh, hanging in there as well. Oh, Bobzilla just healed. He's eating food. No longer starving. Bro, he's gonna hang in there a little while longer, huh? What if he gets second place? What if he outlasts Bugville and Udan? <laughs> Can you imagine? He was almost the first kingdom to go. He just defended so much. See, I don't... I don't mind the orcs just annihilating everyone as much in this because it's more about like the story of the demigods, you know? Like, instead of it just being like, oh, the orcs destroyed everyone, it's kind of like, man, it's more like a a tale of the defiance of certain demigods and how they stood against <laughs> the might of Jerkberg against all odds and still held on for so much longer than they should have because they were just a champ. Okay, so Bugville's officially gone, I think. Yep, and orcs are gonna struggle a little while I'm trying to figure out how to get out here, probably, because they're stupid. And then, uh, yeah, good luck taking down Bobzilla now that he's healing. Plus, they're not at war with Great Una. Where are they all going? Oh, they're all pi- Oh my gosh, dude. They're all piling on this boat. I wonder where this is gonna go. Uh-oh, dude. Uh-oh, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, this is like instant game over for them. Rest in peace, my friends. Rest in peace. Dang. They lost Dan so early on, too. That was kind of a bummer. I mean, they're still in it for a little while. They got this. Well, no, they don't. Not anymore, they don't. What are they missing? Guess the boats? Okay, oh, oh, we're missing something. There, see fire. So it's way over here. He's all right. Oh, man, he didn't get a chance to heal all the way back up. Oh, there's more fire. Oh, no. Bobzilla's probably sweating. Fire's getting closer. Oh, there's no way he's not on fire. There's no way he gets out of this one. He's on fire. I can see it. No, dude. The last man, Bobzilla, 1883. Almost 2,000 kills. Look at his armor. Adamantine sweared. Sword. Special head hurt. Knightly Plattmeister. Savage pumps. Behemoth's contradiction. And amulet. Boo. He had a, what, 341% critical hit. Is that critical hit chance or critical hit damage? I actually don't know. Bro, what a legend. You'll be missed, Bobzilla. You'll be missed. And with that goes the end. Looks like some point in there the uh, humans got wiped out. And as some could have predicted, the orcs win. Who are you fighting over here? Who's even left? No one. Knock it off. Orcs win, but man, some people held their ground. That was actually pretty cool. I definitely vote for a big orc nerf. Maybe we could do this again someday, but without the orcs, just leave them out entirely, because I feel like everyone else is 
pretty even, with the exception of maybe the elves. Orcs are just too strong. They won it without a demigod. What does that tell you, huh? But hey, thanks for watching. Sorry that the uh, part one and part two got a little messed up because of that bug with the mod, but you know, we powered through, made it work. So yeah, thanks for watching. I got a couple cool ideas coming up and I always appreciate you guys leaving your ideas in the comments. It always helps me get inspiration for new videos and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.